In this video series, I'm documenting from A to Z exactly in real time how I build an outbound AI calling machine to land clients at scale for my digital marketing agency. This is episode one. Let's jump in. All right. So this is where we get started. I saw a call fluent ad pop on, on my YouTube and I'm going to jump into this. Now we're going to be doing outbound AI calls at scale. So I'm going to choose this one. I think this is like a Black Friday deal. Um, let's go. Filled this out. I'm going to fill this out. All right. We're in. New workspace. All right. I need to set up a Twilio account, which I actually don't have. Uh, never mind. I wait. Okay. I don't think I have one. Well, this is super confusing. I hate it. The problem is, is that Twilio bought Authy and I used to have Authy and now the accounts are a mess. So poor user experience. All right. We've connected this to Authy. Let's build out the agent. We do an outbound agent. Select a template or start from scratch. I'm going to choose healthcare. All right, let's test out Sam Rivera. Okay, name, it's fine. Language. Now, I want to give this person an accent because I think that will cover up the fact it's a robot a little bit. So let's try New Zealand. Voice, Molly. Let me go with the mail. Okay, I need a better phone number than that. I'm just going to choose a random US number here. All right, let's go. Let's initiate this registration if we can. All right, we're going to go through and set this number up. I'm not going to worry about the DLC registration right now. That's only for text messaging. So voicemail, I'm not going to bother with it. Answer creativity. I'm going to go with an eight. Context max tokens. Determine how much context we have for each answer. I don't know the pros and cons of that. So I'll just leave it at default. Speech stop sensitivity. Select how many words should stop the agent speech. Two is good. 25. Silence message delay. I'm going to bring this down to four seconds. 10 is a lot. We'll do 20 uh, and end the call if there's 15 seconds of silence. Utterance detection. How long to wait before utterance ends? I don't know what that means, but let's just go with 800 to make it more responsive. Concurrent answer gene. Start generating answer if the pause between words is minimum 150 milliseconds. Okay, that's fine. Transcribe filler words. So I'm going to put that on. Okay, agent configuration. Tell your agent what is his goal. Primary goal is to provide, okay, so a little bit of, okay, let's use ChatGPT to help us here. Your primary goal is to provide efficient and compassionate patient service. Okay, that's totally wrong. Um, this is like for someone who is calling the actual medical practice. Well, let's just work with what we have. I'm going to tell ChatGPT, this is an example prompt for an AI voice agent. Use it as an example. Now... We are going to make a new prompt. All right. The new prompt is going to be an outbound sales rep for my agency, North Digital. Um, they're going to be calling chiropractor offices and physiotherapy offices. Um, so kind of like mid-range ticket medical practices. And I want them... So, okay. this It's going to be somewhat obvious to someone intelligent. This is an AI robot. So to navigate that weakness, I actually want to be upfront about the fact that, hey, this is, I'm calling on behalf of Sean from North Digital. We have an AI marketing agency that helps healthcare practices sign on new patients. And our AI agent actually follows up with all of the leads we generate in real time and can lighten the work of the receptionist. And then you can say, in fact, believe it or not, you're talking to an AI right now. Now, Sean, the business owner, will get a transcript of this call, but feel free to test me out, ask me some funny questions, and see how responsive I am. This will be similar to what we set up for healthcare practices. We have a decade history of running ads, and the addition of the AI is what we're focusing on right now. Um, turn all of that into a concise script that you think would make this AI voice agent most effective. Okay, but you didn't follow the example script. This is fine in that you told the person what to say. But if you see the example, the example script gave the AI agent more general guidelines. For example, it said your aim is to schedule, reschedule, cancel. So in this case, the aim of the AI is to um, book an appointment with Sean, a 15-minute Zoom call to go through the system. That is the goal of the, the agent. Um, you can't just give it a word for word script to get there. You can give it a, some word for word guidelines, but the AI is going to be self-guided towards that goal. 
And the goal of this call is simply to get the email from the receptionist that you're going to be calling or the AI agent is going to be calling and a good time for a meeting and then say, Sean will send you a calendar invitation at that time. Please give me your email address and your cell phone to receive a text message reminder. Now, remember, this AI agent is going to be talking to the receptionist. So in a sense, be self-aware that the AI is not going to be replacing the job of the receptionist, but when adding on this marketing, it's not going to be any more work for the receptionist because the AI is going to be doing it. So just it, this, the only way this is going to work is if the AI is almost like self-aware and somewhat humorous, even self-deprecating about the fact it's an AI. Um, but that can be layered in maybe 10 or 20 seconds into the call. Okay, give me another script. And again, this is the framework we're feeding the AI agent. Okay, let's see if this goes better. All right, this looks good. This looks good. This is this is long, but ChatGPT is going to town on this. Okay, uh, let's see if this works. Oh, man, I don't know why it does this, but ChatGPT really needs to improve its copy paste functionality. All right, actually, I need to I need to modify this one more time. All right, so they have some templates only for restaurants. That's not super useful. Okay, I'm going to upload this image and tell break down the instructions based on the headings here and make it easy for me to copy paste. Okay, let's go. Goal, background. It's funny, I feel like all these AI companies, like their UI is always a little bit glitchy, but that's part of the game. Okay, instructions, goal, background, all that good to go. I'm gonna turn the script off for now. Submit. As a side note, I wonder how unhinged you could in theory make these agents. Like I wonder if there's terms of service or if they check it, but we're gonna be PG-13 in this video. Webhook endpoint. Okay, now I need to flip over to a blog post. Here we are. How to automate outbound calls with CallFluent AI Zapier, Google Sheets, CallFluent AI. Okay, so this is the blog post I'm going to follow for this experiment. And all right, so it says create a spreadsheet with name and phone number. Okay, so looking at this, before we get to all these steps, the first step is going to be to generate a list of potential leads. And if we scroll down to this one, it's going to be something like this. So let me create the example spreadsheet. Okay, we're going to do business name, business, website, front desk, phone number, receptionist name, find on website. These are instructions for a VA, by the way. Um, city, doctor name one, doctor name two, doctor name three, doctor cell phone, if possible. One. Okay. I'm going to call this call fluent Cairo RMT list USA. Share. Anyone with a link can edit. All right. Now to hire the VA, I'm using a brand new VA marketplace slash system. I'll put the link in the bio. My good friend Kim has built this out and I'm one of their beta testers. So let's jump in. All right. Create a list of 200 chiropractor slash RMT data scraping. How urgent is this? 24 hours. How important is this? Client request. What skill does this task require? Data scraping. That's about it. Estimated time to complete. Hmm. I'm going to put three hours or 300 minutes. So close enough. We're going to put due date as tomorrow. And I think that should be self explanatory. Submit. And here we have the email confirmation. Let's go. That's episode one of this video. I'll be back tomorrow with a follow-up video and you guys will see this through all the way to the end. If you want to try Kim's VA Marketplace, I will put the link in the video description below. Click that link, check it out. Until next time, I'll see you later.